phosphates. What are they? Phosphates are plant food. This means that high levels of phosphates contribute to algae and mold growth. So what is the appropriate amount of phosphates in your pool? We at Riverbend believe that the appropriate amount of phosphates is zero. There's no reason to have phosphates in your water whatsoever. Where do they come from? Phosphates come from tap water. They also can come from heavy rains and from pool chemicals that contain phosphates. In fact, some municipalities treat water with phosphonic acid. The offshoot of that is phosphates. So your tap water could very well be contaminated with phosphates. So how do we keep phosphates at zero? The best thing to do is to regularly use an enzyme and phosphate remover product like Pool Perfect plus Phosfree or CV700. Regular use of these products will keep phosphate levels in between 300 to 500 parts per billion down. Sometimes after a heavy rain or if you had to use a chemical that may have had phosphates in it, your phosphate level can jump above 500 parts per billion. It can go all the way up to 10,000 parts per billion. In that case, you'll need a specialized concentrated phosphate remover like PR10,000 to keep those phosphates gone. You're going to want to test your phosphates about once a month. Again, regularly using Pool Perfect Plus Phosphree or a CV700 will keep your phosphates at zero. So we just want to make sure we test about once a month to make sure that we haven't had a higher level of phosphates introduced. Let's check out this video on using an AquaCheck phosphate test kit to test your phosphates. Phosphates are plant food. It's not a good idea to have any phosphates in your water at all as it can contribute to plant growth like algae and mold. So what we want to do is regularly use a product like Pool Perfect Plus Phosphory or CV700 Enzyme and Phosphate Remover. Both of these products will keep normal levels of phosphates anything between 100 and 500 parts per billion at a level of zero. We want to keep zero phosphates. However, it is still a good idea to test for phosphates every couple of weeks because under special circumstances such as maybe adding a pool chemical that you've never had to add before or maybe after a heavy thunderstorm, your phosphate levels can rise above 500 parts per billion and at that point you will need a concentrated phosphate remover to keep those phosphates gone. So every couple of weeks we need to test for our phosphates. You can either come to Riverbend Pool Supply for this or use AquaCheck's Phosphate Test Kit. It only takes about a minute to do at your house. Let me show you how to use this kit. Okay, comes in a little container. Open the top lid. Pull out the bag and the enclosed cylinder. Open the bag. Remove a silver packet. Now, take a proper pool water sample and fill that little plastic cylinder up to the mark at the top. Take the little silver baggie, shake it up, open it at the top, and pour that powder into the cylinder. Cap the cylinder and shake it up for about 60 seconds. Now, after about 60 seconds, spread out the envelope that those little silver packets were in. You'll notice a label. This label has little black circles next to blue colored circles next to numbers. This is how we tell what our phosphate level is at. Take the cylinder that has the water and the powder in it. It should at this point either be clear or some sort of shade of blue. Remove the cap, place it next to the very bottom black circle, and looking down the very top of the cylinder, move it up and down until you can best match it up to the blue color. Hopefully it's clear. Clear means zero. A dark blue indicates 1,000 parts per billion phosphates or higher. If you get a dark blue color, you will need a concentrated phosphate remover like PR10,000 in order to eliminate the phosphates in your pool. I hope this video has been helpful, and as always, thank you for choosing RiverbendPoolSupply.com for all your swimming pool needs. This concludes the section on phosphates. To continue with chemistry school, please see the video for nitrates.